forensic scientists, engineers, and regulatory specialists at EPA's National Enforcement Investigation Center develop innovative technologies to ensure industries comply with environmental laws and prevent pollution. Experts use these new tools to assess air and water quality, monitor contaminants, gather data, and test samples to analyze potential pollutants and understand the threat to human health and the environment. We're getting complaints from communities, but where do you start looking? And so this, these sorts of devices are going to be critical for us and for the communities to be able to know what they're being exposed to. Technology now allows environmental regulators and scientists to detect and identify health risks within a matter of hours instead of weeks. Here are three tools scientists use to get a clear understanding of what's happening in the environment when they're called to respond to a potential problem or known violation of the law. GMAP is a mobile system equipped with a weather station and global positioning devices. GMAP is used to assess oil and gas production facilities and other industrial sources like refineries and shipping terminals. It has a methane detector and an ultraviolet detector for benzene and other hydrocarbons. Basically, the air is drawn in through the mast, goes into some instrumentation inside the vehicle. There's three tools on the very top of this that are helping us get these calculations. GPS is the most important of those. Investigators can drive through a community and identify sources of emissions and begin estimating health risks. They can cover several miles in a few hours using GMAP, then bring in other instruments once they've detected a pollution source. We're able to screen various areas to locate places that we might want to go do a more in-depth inspection. It's a way to get real-time information about particular chemicals of concern. While the human eye can't see invisible toxic gas emissions, the infrared camera can spot these plumes of hydrocarbons, including compounds like benzene, which cause cancer. These equipment that are used to detect fugitive emissions of industrial chemicals that leak from various sources, whether it be tanks or from valves or pumps or connectors. From a distance, the IR cameras can record leaks as dark cloud-like images. Once investigators detect pollution using GMAP, environmental regulators use the IR camera to pinpoint the pollution source and record images to document the magnitude of the emissions. What you see here are flares, and this black plume is actually uncombusted hydrocarbon coming from the flare. That's actually an air pollution control device. It's supposed to achieve a 98% control efficiency, and using the infrared camera technology, we can actually see when a flare is not being operated appropriately. For a big picture analysis, environmental investigators turn to geospatial technologies to target, evaluate, and monitor pollution. This includes everything from aerial and satellite imagery analysis, census and hydrography data, to soil surveys, meteorological data, and habitat classification. So it's an efficiency tool. It helps us focus our resources and helps get some immediate information that can be used to help protect the community. NEIC scientists constantly look for new ways to improve EPA's ability to monitor and measure pollution to protect the environment and keep people safe. 